With its spectacular scenery and quiet communities, the tip of the Buren Peninsula in Newfoundland is the picture of peace and tranquility. But it is here in the village of Grand Bank, population 2500, that Harold Warner's company makes, tests and ships its durable, extreme condition air shelters. These are not your average tents, and making them requires efficient, lean processes and a good dose of technology. Dynamic Air Shelters is a company that builds fabric structures a little bit different than what you'd see in conventional designs. Our biggest market is used where there is an extreme environment. That might be because of the presence of something like a refinery or chemical plant. In my experience, if you allow yourself to be blind to technology, it will be found by your competitors. They will enhance their product. They will make it faster, more efficiently than you would. Technology is usually about both elevating your game in terms of quality, but also elevating your game in terms of productivity and efficiency. We started our lean manufacturing processes about 10 years ago. We could see there was a lot of waste in our systems. We could see that there was certainly a need for some efficiencies, and we needed some machinery. Everything was done by hand. We've since moved to automated cutting tables. We still need the people, they operate the machines. The other thing that really helps with the process is not the machinery, not the number of people, but the process flow itself. I mean, we've improved our lead times, so we've increased our margins significantly. We find ways to not manhandle everything, but to use automation to move products around of a larger scale. I've looked at that, I've done that, and the difference is astronomical. The fact is, is that Canada is showing an interest in, first of all, supporting research and development and innovation. So we can't just make our livings pulling oil out of the, out of the ground or fish out of the sea or grain out, even off our flatlands and our prairie lands. Innovation and research and development is absolutely critical to how this country functions 15, 20, 25 years from now.